everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new I post every Wednesdays and Fridays on motherhood lifestyle and food videos and on today's video I'm going to be showing you how I make my gingerbread cookies so I'm going to show you how they turned out uh, a few of them anyways that I decorated which I like the most so this one is supposed to be a girl I got some hair on there and I made a star with the leftover dough Kind of like a, a star shape. <laughs> My favorite. I was trying to make like a jacket on the gingerbread. This one and attempted to have a Santa hat on it. But not uh, exactly what the picture showed on Google. <laughs> but that's one of them. And another one. This is when I was trying to make the Santa hat. But you know I don't have all the utensils to like make these type of... Um, designs that I wanted to do and then this is probably my favorite one out of all of them it is isn't it isn't it so adorable ah, so cute it's supposed to be a nail figure with uh, some pants and a bow tie and a button yeah. I don't know what I was thinking of this one but I kind of wanted to make like a butterfly gingerbread man but yeah it made about 24 um, cookies so I I loved it it was very fun making it too. I hope you guys enjoy. For your ingredients for the dough, you will need three and one fourth cup of flour into one bowl. And then you'll add one tablespoon of cinnamon. And then one tablespoon of ground ginger. Three fourth teaspoon of ground clove. I had a hard time finding this, but eventually I found it where the spices are in the grocery store. Then you add one, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, three fourth teaspoon of baking soda, sprinkle of some salt. This is optional. Now add the three fourth cup of softened butter. So leave it out of your fridge for a little bit and it would be all soft. Then I left, then I put the leftover in a plastic wrap and I put it back in my fridge for storage. Next is half a cup of brown sugar. You can use white if you like, but I suggest brown. Time to mix for two minutes. You grab another bowl and you crack in one egg could be a large or a medium. Then add half a cup of molasses. I got a spatula and got all of the extra that didn't come out of the measuring cup. Then I put the mixer back together to blend this all together. And mix away. I had the, the mixer on high. Now you're going to combine both bowls a little at a time because if you did it all at once you would have a huge flour mess. After mixing, you're going to get your dough and separate it into two balls and then you're going to flatten it and wrap it up with saran wrap. After chilling it for two hours, sprinkle flour onto a hard surface and unwrap your dough. Throw away the wrapper and start rolling away. I roll it to an inch thick. 
now it's time for the fun part. Get your favorite cookie cutters out and start making shapes. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees so the cookies will be done cutting by the time it's ready. Put the cookies in for 8 to 10 minutes. I found 12 was perfect. They were nice and crispy but still soft. But you decide how many minutes you would like. Time to take them out and do the second batch. I didn't put them in at the same time because I was preparing the second tray while the first tray was in. I found this mostly uh, time consuming. With my leftover dough, I made a star shape because I had a cookie cutter for that. And I also just made like a flat cookie. Now it's time to make the cookie icing. You're gonna have two teaspoons of corn syrup, one fourth of vanilla extract and icing sugar, two teaspoons of milk, and some of your food coloring. This is the finished product, after mixed. Now you're going to get a plastic baggie. This is optional as well. And scoop all of your icing into the plastic baggie Make sure you get every bit of it from the bowl. It will be very dry right after you mix it because it dries very, very quickly. Then you're going to try to zip it back up and squeeze it out and cut the tip of it with some scissors and put an elastic band around the outer uh, bag the other ed edge of the bag so none of it comes out because my ziplock did not close <laughs> then you're going to start decorating how you choose by the way by the way do you don't you love my ugly sweater I have on here So these are the finished products, all the cookies that I decorated. It didn't take too long, maybe about 45 minutes to an hour, but I spent a lot of detail on them. You could always do a quick job. These were my favorite three gingerbread men. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed watching how to make gingerbread cookies. I will leave the link that I got this recipe from in the description down below. And if you guys have any questions or loved how they turned out, leave that in the comments down below. And hit the subscribe button below if you guys are interested in seeing more videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!